Hey, we're here at the gun show. I don't know if you know this, but it may be the last one here at the Orange County Fairgrounds due to your nemesis, I mean, your opponent from the last race, Senator Dave Min. He made a campaign promise. He wanted to stop gun shows here at the fair, and he made good on it, and Newsom signed it. What do you think about it? Okay, now what else do you think? Well, that's why we're here today. I've, I've been so busy, Scott, the last 26 years that I've never had a chance to go to a gun show, but I, I defended the gun lobbyists in Sacramento. I was vice chair of the Senate's Public Safety Committee and uh, worked with Hardin Committee to support them. And so what do I get? <clears throat> you know, not enough support in November of last year. And then in March, they supported Kevin Muldoon. So I think the gunners have really got to figure life out and they got what they deserve. This thing's shutting down. Too bad. Sad. Do you think that uh, they would have made a difference in your race? How close was your race last year? If we could have flipped 6,000 voters, I would have won out of 530,000 that voted. All well, depends on who's counting the votes, though, right? Oh, that's another issue. So David Mint's bill started out trying to outlaw gun shows from every single bit of state property you know, across the whole state, obviously. Uh, his colleagues actually pared it down without his permission to Orange County only. What's going on up there? Is colleagues not as anti-gun as him or what? I uh, know that during the campaign, uh, he already announced that he didn't want gun shows at the Orange County Fair. Uh, he probably realized that some of his moderate companions in the Democratic side uh, actually appreciate the revenue. And they have a different constituency. Up in Northern California, you don't really want to pull a stunt like this. But they did it with the Cow Palace in San Francisco. They did it with uh, the uh, Del Mar racetrack. Uh, they, you know, they, they were shutting them down one at a time, and so they probably thought, let's just go easy. So you think it was more a matter of, of strategy and shutting them down one at a time rather than across the whole state so as to not raise the ire of everybody? Probably. But they all really want it. They just decided to take it a little slower. Well, um, it was a rough year. Um, they were smart enough to have the recall vote before Governor Newsom had to sign the bills. <laughs> so so uh, they could have probably pulled a lot of more dramatic stuff, uh, but it would have been really interesting if we would have had the recall, say, uh, on October 1st after uh, Newsom was supposed to sign bills. Then we would have really had an interesting uh, dilemma. You're just saying because he felt free after the recall to sign all the radical bills, including exactly. this one, that he might not have had the recall been afterwards. Correct. So what do you think the owners ought to do? Forget about Orange County Fair and go to Anaheim Stadium or uh, sue them? No, they've got other options. They're going to have to figure out if they can use Tustin Hanger, Anaheim Stadium, OCC, see if the state, <laughs> don't tell the state shuts that down. Um, but they have options it's free country but you know this is uh this is just part of the drill we we this county elected a liberal senator who was uh, uh used to work with george soros uh and used to work for chuck schumer and so this county voted for that and uh, do you think they knew what they were getting I, well i don't know but if they didn't know then shame on them because they had someone who was comfort food, that who had been there, they knew how, how I voted and how I defended uh, certain interest groups. And, you know, if the NRA and the gun owners just couldn't mount up enough support, then, you know... They're, they're, le they're learning the hard way. That's a result to that. You could lose in conservative Orange County if you don't pay attention. Vot voting has consequences. And if the gun owners supported Muldoon, you know they're not that bright politically. Now, you're talking about a different race. Let's not bring that no, in. I know, but, but, it, but it speaks volumes of how disloyal the gun owners were, Scott. I mean, that I worked so hard in the Senate for their behalf, on their behalf, and they endorsed Muldoon, who doesn't have a, a lick of a chance in the supervisorial race. So, yeah, I think a lot of people Against need to do a little, a little educating, a little, need to do a little political reality uh, and understand how this sport works more than how their gun sport works. Right. The, the I'm just kind of venting. Scott, thank you very much. I know you're not going to show it on air, so why should I worry about it? <laughs> well, but what you're saying about Dave Mann and that voting has consequences is important. People need to understand that. Well, I think they know that. 
but um, let's go, Brandon. You mean they know well, that? No, I'm, you know, you, you saw what happened in November. You saw the lies and the mail pieces, and you know, you you know. So here I got I got deputy sheriffs walking around, and they're complaining that the gun show's leaving because now they're not going to get the little overtime gigs. You know, and that's right. The gun show basically hires the deputy yet, sheriffs yet, on overtime. Yet the deputy sheriffs went after me in both November and in in March. So shame on them. You your know. union, your union spent big money against you. A lot of money, and now they're going to lose their, you know, one of their contracts, one of their little perks. Hello, wake up, everybody. I mean, actions have consequences, right, Scott? We're adults. <laughs> and, and and there are a lot of unintended consequences that they should have known but didn't. Or chose to ignore. Yeah, or, yeah, that they they uh, uh, sort of picked the wrong person to support, and and you know now they gotta they gotta deal with it. That's you know they gotta talk to their leadership and say, hey, how come you would even though most of us are probably Republicans and registered Republicans, why did you support a David Min or a Katrina Foley? What you know, where's your head at? Uh, what what is it up? <laughs> Let's not. We don't need to go there. Okay. <laughs> no. So, anything else you'd like to share? No, I think I'm good. So, I didn't introduce you up front, but this is former Senator John Morlock. He had the seat that David Min took from him in 2020, and like you said, voting has consequences. Well, the unions spent four million dollars more than I raised. I raised 2.4 million. And uh, and a million of that came the from the Orange County Sheriff. The, the voters should have figured out that there was strong Democratic money. They wanted they wanted to take your money, you know, with higher taxes and whatever. They're not going to, you know, I mean, if you look at the prison guards, which was one of the bigger unions that opposed me and spent over a million dollars, I voted no on their race. They're already overpaid. I shouldn't say overpaid. They're already paid 40 percent higher than prison guards in other states. So you talk about. One having high due revenues, <laughs> and then you know, since their to, dues are based on their salary, they right, have a lot of money right, that they could spend right. towards dues. So, so, which they spend against you. Hello, taxpayers, wake up, wake up! You're going to get your pockets picked, and and there's only one person to blame, and that's yourself if you voted for David Min. So I can't sit here and cry for you. All I can say is say, God, I tried. I really tried. I was. I worked really hard for you, as vice chair of public safety, and uh, I, you know, I've defended the gun owners. Every chance, come March, they were disloyal. How do you explain that? I don't. Get March it. was the supervisor's race; so they were disloyal. They were loyal to you in the in the race against David Min, but they didn't step up very big. Well, you might want to look at my contribution records and see how many NRA or gun owner uh, members contributed to my campaigns. You mean in your Senate run? Both. Yeah. Are you saying it wasn't very substantial? You might want to just do some homework, Scott, and and then then they can do some soul searching. And say, okay, why did why is this wonderful event shutting down?